Hi everyone, in this video, one of my all-time favorite medical devices. It's called a MAD device or a mucosal atomizer device. So we can give medications without starting a line. And we're gonna talk about it starting right now. Hi everyone, so today we're talking about the MAD device. This device allows us to administer medications through the nose by filling the syringe with the medication, depressing it quickly, and it atomizes. It makes it like a mist, and this medication can be quickly absorbed through the nasal mucosa. The big benefit, we could use drugs and administer drugs that would otherwise have to be administered with a needle, either in an IV or IM. So we can use those types of medications through the atomizer, administer it to the patient, and not risk anybody getting stuck with the needle. Now, what medications can be administered through the MAD device? A lot more than you think. But I kind of want to focus on three biggies. One, Narcan. The antidote, the antagonist for opioid and narcotic overdoses. Narcan can be administered through the MAD device. Fentanyl, pain management. Fentanyl can be administered through here. Now, why would we administer fentanyl uh, through the nasal mucosa? Well, grandma fell down, broke her hip, obviously. We wanna get things moving, but we wanna give her a little pain medication before we start wiggling grandma around. Ideal for this. We don't have to start a line. We can give her a little fentanyl, follow your local protocols for drug dosing, but we can administer it without starting an IV, give her a little pain and sedation, fentanyl does sedate, and we can move her more comfortably. Next medication, Benzos, Valium Versed can be administered through the MAD device. So if you have one seizing, and if you've ever tried to start a line on a seizing patient, yeah, it's fun, it's enjoyable, uh, but not always. So uh, we can administer it this way. It's safer for the patient, it's safer for us. Maybe we get the seizure under control and we don't have to start an IV. Now, the rule on using this, no more than one cc of fluid to be administered into one nair. So, if, you, if it's one cc, I'd put half in one, half in the other. If the patient, before you administer it, if you notice, you know, snot and, you know, ugh, have them blow the nose. If they're able to, blow the nose, clean that out, because this medication has to hit the vessels in order to be absorbed by the body. So if there's any barrier to that, um, we gotta get rid of it. So if they're able to, uh, you can grab a blower nose before we move her, great, have her blow her nose, then we can administer the medication through the MAD device. Okay, this has been a quick review of the MAD device, the nasal atomizer. My name's Mark, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Excuse me, there is a message for you. Always is.